Ladies and gentlemen, greetings. We are glad to be able to attend the Foreign Direct Investment Day of the Think Global Conference and we are grateful to the International Trade Council for inviting us, presenting us with this privileged opportunity to acquaint you somewhat more closely with a unique set of defining comparative advantages offered by Croatia when it comes to doing business in and with the country when it comes to trade and investment. Firstly, Croatia is a member of the European Union and thus an integral part of a wider, most advanced body of rules, standards and regulations related to the legal aspects of businesses, as well as to the quality of products and services. This entails transparency and accountability. It belongs also to a large common European free market, one of the most important in the world. It is bonded with the United States in the strategic alliance of NATO, putting together a community of democracies, sharing the same essential values and interests. The European Union and the United States form the largest trading bloc in the world. It is of our crucial interest to keep strengthening economic ties with our closest friends and allies, notably with the United States. The trends are promising and we intend to spare no effort to enhance them. We also share a joint interest in having a global trade which is rules-based and happening on a leveled playing field. Croatia has a solid macroeconomic indicators, enabling it to be in line to soon accede to the European Monetary Union, to adopt Euro. Secondly, Croatia is uniquely well positioned at the crossroads between the East and the West, between the North and the South, when it comes to transfers of goods and services, disposing of convenient infrastructure. In particular, it has a network of world-class highways. The deep sea port of Rijeka in the Northern Adriatic offers a great access to the heart of Europe. Also in the Northern Adriatic, just at the beginning of this year, Croatia's import floating LNG terminal has become operational, contributing to a so much needed energy diversification in Europe. Thirdly, Croatia has a spectrum of advanced and promising industries, coupled with an educated and skilled workforce, and with a set of governmental measures aimed at facilitating and speeding up trade and investments. Croatia is especially strong in tourism in the hospitality industry, famous for its natural beauty and cultural assets, for its crystal blue Adriatic Sea, offering many investment opportunities. It has this tremendous potential, while we all will be bouncing back from the pandemic, anxious to enjoy life in a safe and affordable environment. Croatia offers huge opportunities in agriculture, and in many manufacturing and service industries. It has a particularly robust and fast-moving homegrown IT sector, having a global presence, as well as a great green energy sector, spearheaded by Rimac automobiles, an industry leader in hypercars and electric drive. Ladies and gentlemen, many thanks for your kind attention. I will be looking forward to addressing some detailed topics of your specific interest. Hello everybody, my name is Anna Chula and I'm the head of the sector for investments at the Croatia's Ministry of Economy. I am pleased to have a chance today to present to you what Croatia has to offer and I would like to thank the organizers for this opportunity. So, quick facts about Croatia. Croatia is not a big country. We have 4 million inhabitants, our land area is around 56,000 square kilometers, and our GDP in 2020 was around 50 billion euros, which is lower than usual and a result of COVID-19 pandemic. Most of our investors come from the EU countries. This is not surprising since we are close to them and they know what to expect. 71% comes from the EU 15 countries like Austria, Germany, France, Italy and Belgium, and another 17% comes from the newer EU states like Hungary, Czech Republic and Slovenia. EU countries are also our biggest trading partner. Exports to EU member states in 2020 accounted for 70% of the total export, while the import from the EU member states accounted for 80% of the total import. 
The largest foreign trade partners from the EU in 2020 were Germany, Italy and Slovenia. If we look at the US or China, we will see that they are not significantly present in the Croatia. However, we do have some significant investments from both, like the IBM Client Innovation Center or the investment of the China's high-tech enterprise Camel Group in Croatia's electric vehicle developer and producer Rimac Automobili. Croatia is an open economy to foreign investors. The OECD FDI Regulatory Restrictiveness Index measures statutory restrictions on foreign direct investment in 58 countries and covers 22 sectors. Croatia compares favorably against both the OECD and non-OECD averages. In fact, Croatia's constitution requires the state to ensure equal legal status to all entrepreneurs. Foreign investors are also guaranteed the right to free transfer and repatriation of profit and invested capital. Finally, there is no general investment screening mechanism for inbound FDI. Croatia is both a member of the European Union and the World Trade Organization and applies prescribed rules on international trade. Among the key sectors thriving in Croatia are the ICT sector. It is constantly rising and currently comprises 5.5% of the gross value added. We have many foreign firms active in Croatia, but also many Croatian firms which are internationally present and recognized for their quality. We also have our first unicorn, Infobip. We have a long tradition in the manufacturing sector with strong domestic and foreign firms and in recent years we have also seen some newcomers which have established themselves in the robotics sector like the Gideon Brothers, Highstack and so on. While we do not manufacture cars yet, we do have a large network of suppliers, both of the automotive parts but also of digital solutions. For example, Croatian domestic IT company Infinum and Porsche Digital have invested in this Zagreb-based joint venture. Finally, we also have our own Rimac company known for its batteries and electric sports car concept too. Its minority shareholders are Porsche, Hyundai, Kia Motors and Camel Group. We have quality firms in the pharmaceutical industry, both foreign and domestic. And due to our strategic location, which I will cover later in the presentation, we are very convenient for the logistics industry. Finally, we also have a booming creative industry. Our game developers have been very successful internationally and Croatia has been widely recognized as an excellent filmic location. So, after this quick overview of the general facts and sectors, I will now try to give you a rundown on some of the reasons why you should consider Croatia as your next investment destination. I have grouped them into six categories, namely convenient location, low investment costs, human capital, investment incentives, institutional support, and the quality of life. I will start with the location. Croatia is conveniently located between East and West, and it connects Western and Central Europe with Eastern Europe and the Black Sea. Its neighbors, Italy, Slovenia, Hungary, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia and Montenegro. As an EU member state, it provides any investor with an access to the EU single market and its 450 million consumers. We are very well connected with all of Europe through our airports and river ports and through our six seaports we provide shortest transit time from the Far East. We have good road infrastructure and free pan-European corridors across our territory. If you look at the investment costs, they are among the lowest in Europe. Price level indices for investment are 35% lower than the EU average. Likewise, we are very favorable tax policy. As of this year, roughly 93% of companies in Croatia pay a 10% profit tax rate. Likewise, personal income tax brackets have been lowered this year and the highest is now only 30%. Labor costs in Croatia are also significantly lower than the EU average in all sectors of the economy. Croatians are also multilingual. Almost all of the Croatians have some basic knowledge of English. In fact, according to the English Proficiency Index, which ranks English skills, Croatia is 13th out of 100 countries. We also have a lot of people speaking German, and in some parts of Croatia, Italian is the prevalent language. We also provide attractive investment incentives. You can get up to 45% of your investment costs back. Incentives are the combination of direct grants and profit tax credit. They are given for investments in manufacturing, development and innovation, business support activities and high added value services. Minimum investment to qualify depends on the activity and the size of the investor and ranges from 50,000 euros to 500,000 euros. 
Should you have any questions, you can always contact us. We provide free support to investors and every investor gets his or her project manager. Our colleagues at the diplomatic missions are also always open for any queries you might have. You can also visit our webpage where you can find a short overview of relevant laws in our investment guide. If you are looking for an investment site, we have a map of locations ready for investments. We also provide an overview of public and private projects looking for investors or strategic partners. And if you would like to know more about the available incentives and financing, there is also a section dedicated to that. We also have an incentives calculator where you can get an informative calculation of available incentives. All our contact details are also on the web page. Finally, last but not least, Croatia provides excellent quality of life. We have more than 1,000 islands and islets, 10% of our surface is protected, we are known for great food and wine, and we have a moderate climate. You can also visit our web page dedicated to digital nomads. Well, I hope that you have found this presentation useful, and please feel free to contact us should you have any questions.